Um, it's top-notch QBs. Um, they're great competition, great guys, and I love competing against them because they make us all better. How about competing against that defense, the way they keep coming at you? Is that just almost forcing the offense to, to get better? Absolutely. I mean, you play a good team, you play good defenses like ours, which is the best defense in the Pac-12. Um, you know, it's you're bound to get better. You watch the film and you see your mistakes and you see where you could improve on. Um, and then you get to learn their defense a little bit better. And then that's how you pick them apart a little bit. How did the evaluation with Clay go yesterday? He talked to you guys every week. Good, yeah. He, um, he talked to us individually, so I'm not sure what he said to the other guys, but he said to me, um, you know, just you're doing well. Um, make sure you're uh, making timely decisions. Um, and pretty much he, he really laid down the fact that it's, it comes down to making quick decisions in a timely manner protecting the ball. Does the competition between the three of you, does it feel like it's a close race, or how does it feel like to you from your vantage point? Uh, I don't know. I don't really judge it in terms of who's better and who's right next to me. Who's? Mm -hmm. um, I just keep my head keep my head down, have tunnel vision, keep doing the best I can every day. Um, but it's good to have those guys because they're really good QBs, come from great schools, great backgrounds, um, great families, and they push me. Um, every single day, and I'd like to think I'd do the same for them. What was Saturday's scrimmage like? It didn't seem like you guys had a chance to air it out at the time. Team kind of run has it. What was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, that's a uh, play caller's decision. So Coach C was the one. Uh, it was like a play, play it live situation, so there wasn't a script. He was calling the plays. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just came down to him calling the plays. I don't, I'm not sure why that was the case. Um, but maybe they wanted to see how the offensive line worked and uh, you know set the tempo as we like to say. Is it a tough situation for you to like kind of give coaches film to evaluate or you're just trying to worry about moving the ball? Yeah at that point it's just about moving the ball, getting first downs, um, playing the situation. Um, so we if we have a two minute period, protect the ball if it's before half, don't give it up, don't take a sack, get rid of it. Um, you know just try to get three points. You know, so just playing situational football is, is uh, I think, what our scrimmages is mainly based on. Does it feel like uh, all three of you guys still have a shot to win this job? Absolutely. I think we're all, we've all done really good up until this point. We all had a great fall camp. And uh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I, I honestly think this is the spot for me. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to be the best teammate as it can be. Yeah, a lot of people have wondered what the quarterbacks might do. You know, the, one will, one will be picked. What the other two would do for you, you, your, I guess your. I'm a USC Trojan for yeah. life. There's no doubt about it. What type of challenges does a Clancy Pendergast defense pose to you as a quarterback when you're going through your progressions? Oh wow, he's excellent defensive coordinator, um, and he pushes us as QBs a lot. It's very difficult sometimes to see what's what the full picture is. So that's we try to focus on cutting the field in half, kind of focusing on this side, realizing that you know this side's broken. We're not going to even deal with it because of um, certain aspects. Say they have too many guys or they're blitzing, all that stuff. He brings a lot of different pressures. Uh, it's very exotic, and at the end of the day, it's just going to make us better as QBs because we get to see um, a great defensive coordinator call. And does that that force you to be a little bit more patient as you're going through your progressions in the pocket? In terms of I what guess, you're seeing. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes us uh, pick, pick up the pace at times in terms of make, uh, where we want to put the ball, um, making good decisions in a timely manner. I mean, it's, it's hard to realize sometimes that, you know, we'll be getting pressure this, this side, what we think, but actually we're getting pressure this side, you know. So he tricks us a lot, and then that helps us in the long run, knowing that, okay, you know, use our indicators, let's see what's going on here, um, and then kind of fully digress what's, what's happening. Yeah.